Hi Leo, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Leo. Thank you Lord God for blessing the Leo with a clear and concise message from you. Alright so Leo, we got six of pentacles, the four of swords, the star card. So some of you, um, there, you could be in a marriage or this was like a second marriage or a second relationship for you and there were problems in this connection. Um, some time apart, some time of healing uh, could have done you guys well and you guys are having um, uh, some healing and um, some reconciliation here happening between the two of you. Um, it says that somebody that was outside of this connection, th yeah, out, this outside person is um, really going through it. Um, they didn't think that you would abandon them. They didn't think that it would be over. Um, they thought that the feelings that you guys had for each other were a lot stronger than they were. Even though it looks like it was a secret relationship, it was kind of covert in nature. It was hidden. Or there was some hidden element to it. Something was unseen. So, I mean, it could be this other person, the relationship was unseen. But this person is really going through um, a situation of a dark night of the soul. And just really not in a good place. Low energy, anxiety, all of that. Um, because it really could be over with the Ten of Swords showing up. Uh, with this, um, this outside person that, prob that probably was causing problems in the relationship or the marriage altogether. So it's really over with this person. Um, it's run its course. And the fullness of the manifestation here is the Ten of Swords. So this is as good as it gets. The Ten of Swords. It's over. It's done. There's another story here where somebody thought they were like um they were just like some big gigolo, Mac, I don't know, whatever you call it, player. They were out here. They had several different girls. Well, they, they had two main people that they, you know, would divide their, their energy, their resources, their time amongst. And they felt like they were in that power position because the Six of Pentacles talks about the power dynamic. It being off. There's two beggars typically on that car and then there's that one person that's given to the beggars. Or to the people in need. So that would indicate that there was somebody who felt like they were in that power position and they were, you know, just handing out a little a little some here, a little some there, you know, I'll give you some time today on Monday, girl. And then on Tuesday I'll talk to you. You know, this was the energy of that person. It looked like somebody got suspicious of that. And um, they kind of cut the relationship short. And it was like, yeah, I think you have somebody else or you're doing something else or you're somewhere else. I don't know. So I'm good. So the Four of Swords talks about separation due to um, suspicions of infidelity, of, some, of, you know, somebody cheating. But it looks like now somebody wants... Um, renewal. They want reconciliation. They want to get back on the right path with you, whomever this is, Leo, or this is you. Somebody feels like it's right with you. This is the right path. This is where I should be. Or vice versa. But somebody definitely ran because we have the run, leave shell showing up. And then we have the mom shell. So a mother or a mom could have played a big position in this connection. 
maybe somebody um uh, mother was very dominant in the uh relationship or someone is a mother someone's gonna put their energy their time into you know being a mother putting that first in their life Somebody could be wanting to talk to the other person, to that outside relationship, to that that empress. They think very highly of this person. This is a single woman. She's waiting for her emperor. She's done a lot to create abundance, um, elegance about herself. And somebody's spying on this person because they want to reach out to them. But... Whomever walked away, ran, left the situation, um, this person who wants them back, they're not even on their radar with the Four of Cups in reverse. Like, they don't even see it. They don't feel it. They don't see it. I don't see you anymore. Because um, they feel like it's over. Also, there could be someone saying, did, did they get my message? Something about a message not being received or not being responded to. It so it's, it's causing someone a lot of anxiety. Like, did they get my message? This person is having some sleepless nights. They're restless, especially when it comes to the nighttime. They tried to hide from their own emotions and press it down and repress it and lie to themselves. Whomever this is, but they feel deeply about a person on the outside of a of their main relationship. Right, whomever left the, the connection, this is what you have to look forward to if you do talk to this person. Again, the page of pentacles, not a grandiose offer, N nothing major here, just... Maybe this person will give you some words of how they're going to change and what they plan to do and how they're going to do it and so forth. But at this point, they don't have any real offer for you. I don't think they're at a place where they can offer anything. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. Somebody's absence is really making somebody say, Oh, I think I love them. So let me tell them. They could also want to, some, somebody could want to apologize to you, Leo, or vice versa. This is what you're doing. You want to apologize to someone. Um, I don't know if it will be received. Somebody's blocking a lot. They, all the okay, so the two message cards here. Well, no, there's one message card that is blocked. If somebody's not even seeing the other person with the four of cups in reverse, they're not even they're not focused on anything to do with that connection. They don't see the cup. They don't hear the cup. They, I mean, it's non-existent. It's as if this this person maybe that left the connection, they want to forget about this person completely. They could be an element of spying on both parts, but nobody's actually talking. Somebody's working on developing themselves. They want a new life. They want a new lease on life. They understand that they can't take all this old baggage and old people and old situations with them. So they're really cutting it out. This relationship could have brought somebody to a place of, um, you know, searching for more spirituality and religion in their life. They understand that the other person is not filled with spirit. They have no spiritual bone in their body. They don't care about that. Um... They reminisce on the good times sometimes, but it doesn't look like they're coming back or they're going to give this a second chance. If this is your reading, if it resonates for you, like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text the question. 
to the number below, pay for your question, and receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. You can also donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so. Thank you, Leo. Many blessings to you. Take care.